traveling and trading along the Nile. Before you begin, please make sure that you have a sharpened pencil or pen and a highlighter. No underlining. The Nile River was like an ancient highway. There was constant traveling along the water, well, at least north of the cataracts, with boats either floating downstream or using sailboats and very strong paddlers to go upstream. If you looked out there, you would think of it like a highway we see today. Constant traveling, constant boats going back and forth, trading going on. The cataracts made it impossible to travel past Aswan, Egypt. Aswan is where the first cataract is. Along the Nile River, Egyptians set up farms to have easy access to the water source. They used the shadif to water their crops. In areas past the cataract or away from the river, people traveled in caravans. Think of it like the caravans you see today, able to hold a large group of people. Caravans back then were a group of travelers with camels, donkeys, whatever, carrying food, drink, and other objects to trade. They traveled for weeks just to reach a bazaar. Does anybody know what a bazaar is? If you said a marketplace, you're right, and you should write that in right now, a marketplace. They slept on tents, in tents, on animal skins, or if they were lucky enough to find a cave, they'd sleep there. And they would travel 8 to 12 miles a day based on the conditions. That's not very far, but it was hard to travel. But sometimes, the weather didn't allow them to travel at all. Now make a note, they'd ne they, very would, they would very rarely ride their animals. They would use them to pull their supplies. Please take a moment and highlight Ancient Highway, Nile River, Impossible, Aswan, Egypt, past Aswan, Egypt, Caravans, Bazaars, Slept on Animal Skin and in Tents, 8 to 12 miles a day. If you are still writing, please pause the video. Otherwise, let's keep going. Take a moment and look at these pictures. These are wall paintings that depict a caravan near east, of Near Eastern nomads around 1890 BCE. There were caravans mentioned in the Bible, such as in the events of Abraham, but also Joseph and his brothers. What are some things you notice? Please take a moment on the back and jot some of these down. Notice the harp, bow and arrow, a donkey carrying supplies, a child, children could join their parents on it. Notice how there's a differentiation. There's men and there's women. Here they are probably just got a new animal that they're trying to bring back home. Also notice the intentional change in skin color most likely 
from Nubia. Let's move on. Now, bazaars, or marketplaces, were located around Egypt and Nubia. They were filled with a wide variety of items, and wild beasts, newly captured panthers, giraffes, and monkeys. Now, you guys are like, woohoo, a monkey, giraffe. But these were wild, freshly captured animals that could attack in any minute. Look over your shoulder! Now, these towns grew out of the bazaars and grew up around them and developed, and that's how some of the earliest cities developed. People would barter or trade their resources for other items they needed. And if they were lucky enough, things they wanted. Needed for survival, wanted for leisure. Resources. Some of the things that the Egyptians traded away or exported were papyrus, wheat, barley, and flax seeds. Exotic items that you could find all over were gold, most likely from the south, silver, copper to make plates, jewelry, and other precious stones and metals. They also found exotic items specifically from Kush and Nubia, like the throwing stick. A throwing stick. Hmm. You know what? I bet you some of you have played with a throwing stick before. Although we probably call it a boomerang. It could be used as a hunting tool in ancient times. Why don't you make a, note, a draw one right now? There was ivory made from elephants, ebony wood, which is a very smooth wood. It's black, and it was made, it was very helpful for making handles for weapons sometimes, for pots, for pans, and animal skins, not only to sleep on, but for clothing and to keep you warm. Please take a moment and highlight all of your new, the resources, and where you could get them, the South, foreign lands, and Egypt. The end.